And I'd like to welcome you all to our advanced training for today, which will be covering updating your iPad software to the latest version, iPad OS 17.6.1. Okay, the Wildtech DC Senior iPad program, its owners and presenters offer technical assistance, virtual health well-being, information designed for educational purposes only. You should not rely on the information, any applications or topics made by Wildtech including but not limited to mobile device applications and any social media pages maintained by Wildtech, its owners or presenters as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or legal advice. Thank you so much for letting me read the disclaimer. If you cannot see me, hear me, or see the screen, please let me know in the chat. I would appreciate that. Um, I always recommend you have some kind of notes next to you so you, you can record some information and review it for later. Um, and as always, make sure your TVs and cell phones are silenced to give others, and most importantly, yourselves, the most immersive experience, okay? Thank you. Uh, to keep our meetings organized and avoid speaking over each other, which you always do, and I always appreciate, um, I just ask that you use the raise hand feature in Zoom if you ever have a question, comment, concern. If your toolbar is at the top, you're going to hit more and then tap on raise hand. Or if your toolbar is at the bottom of the screen, like myself, you have to tap and hit reactions at the bottom and then tap on raise hand. So either way, if your toolbar is at the top, tap more than raise hand. If your toolbar is at the bottom, hit reactions and then tap on raise hand. So I want everyone in Zoom to please raise their hand. Thank you. If you had a good weekend, if you're hoping for a wonderful week, um, how, if you're wishing everyone a happy photography day, uh, if you're going to learn something new today, if you're going to have fun today, enjoy today, please raise your hand. And we really appreciate the uh, participation. Thank you. We have about half of you all that are on raising your hands. Thank you. Your efforts are definitely not unnoticed. Thank you. And of course, as we always do this, just to see the participation. And uh, again, thanks so much for, uh, you know, knowing to raise your hands. If you have a question, comment, concern, I may ask, have you done X, Y, and Z? So uh, please make sure you utilize the raise hand. You can lower your hand by hitting lower at the bottom. And again, if you're caught on, uh, don't forget uh, if it's that kind of question, um, then don't forget to mute yourself afterwards. So that way we can hear from everyone on the call that has a question. So thank you. Again, we still have about four hands up. So don't forget to look at the bottom and hit lower to lower your hand. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, all right. And um, if you want to communicate non-verbally, the chat is a great way to share a greeting, ask a question, send a photo, send your congrats. Anything you like to share, you can share in the chat. You can tap if your toolbar is at the top, hit more again, but you're gonna hit the first option that says chat. Then here on the meeting chat window, you will hit tap here to chat. So then type in a message and send it using that blue button on the right hand side. If your toolbar is at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna simply just hit chat. And then you will see where it says tap here to chat. And then you can type in your message and send it like you did before. Um, thank you. So I'm gonna write hello. And because today is World Photography Day, I'm gonna look for a camera emoji. So here are several different ones. <laughs> you can have fun with it. You can have, have just emojis or just text or both of them if you want. Um, yeah, so I want everyone in Zoom to please share a message. Again, it can be something as like a hi or a hello. How's it going? Good morning. I hope you had a good weekend, et cetera. Anything you like to share, you can do so in the uh, Zoom chat. Um, you can add a photo even from your photos app by hitting the plus sign next to tap here to chat. And then I can hit photo and add any photo from my photos app. So uh, this was from uh, my Zoom background session. This was from one of you all. Again, you can add one or more pictures at one time. Uh, this picture was pretty nice, etc. So once you have an, your pictures you hit done, and then you can even add text if you want, but I'm just gonna send these pictures. And you can even save a picture that someone has shared by holding the picture with your finger. So again, you literally hold it with your finger 
and then you hit save image. So thank you, uh, Miss Rosemary. I love this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that one. That one's so cool. I, I held the image and hit save image. So now I save that image to my photos app. Thank you, Miss Mary. I love your picture. And I love this one. Good morning. Be grateful. Mm -hmm. Have a beautiful day. That's so true. Thank you so much, Miss Willard. I'm going to save that one too. And that you can do that as well. So if you share anything as a photo, you can save it straight to your uh, photos app as well. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Yep. It certainly is the DNC. Happy Monday. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. I appreciate that. Let's certainly have a marvelous Monday. Happy Monday. Good morning. Thank you. And again, uh, make sure you all check your emails once again. You should have just, you should have received our email. Um, but uh, let me know. <laughs> uh, other than that, in the chat still, if you would like to and would appreciate um, what, uh, again, as we did in the, right before we started our session, we went over our sessions for next week. Please share in the chat what sessions you're looking forward to this week and why. Thank you all so much. Give me a moment and I will be back. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate that. All right, thank you. Appreciate you all letting me know. Thank you. Um, again, uh, and also thank you. We're, I'm also looking forward to Margaret's sessions as well to, for this week. So again, thank you all so, so much for your patience today. So um, again, iPad OS 17 um, is what we are going to cover today, how to update uh, your iPad to the latest version. On um, iPad OS 18 comes out in a few months. If you check out our YouTube channel, you can see about two months ago, we did an iPad OS 18 preview. So I would check that video out. iPad OS 17 gives you powerful new ways to do more than ever. There are new levels of personalization, beautiful and custom lock screens, and some additional features like new apps and more. So there's a lot that came with iPad OS 17. Um, what is an operating system? So it's called iPad OS. If I go back here really quick, iPad OS 17.6.1. So OS stands for operating system. So iPad op operating system, that's iPad OS. iOS is, I, you know, the iPhone operating system. So this, what we talk about today also applies to your phone um, as well. It may not be the exact same version, maybe just 17.6, but it's, either way, if you all have an iPhone, this also applies as well. Make sure you update and back up your iPhone as well. Yeah, so thank you. But what is an operating system? It is the most important software that runs on a computer and manages the computer's memory and processes. So the storage and how each app operates. It manages software and hardware, software like applications, like the one I'm using right now, like Zoom, any of those different apps and the hardware. So the actual physical 
components of the iPad, like the screen, et cetera, um, all the different, the physical parts of the iPad. It also allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language. Because at the end of the day, computers, they run on um, complicated code, but you don't have to necessarily know that code to operate the uh, device. Um, the operating system allows us to use um, you know, uh, common sense operations, like, you know, utilizing the keyboard to type and using the mouse to move, um, et cetera, it allows us to do those things without that complicated code. Without the operating system, a computer is useless. So it's like the brain of the operation. If there's no brain, then everything else goes haywire. So we have to make sure we keep our operating system updated and secure. Uh, again, the operating system manages all of the software and hardware on the computer or device. Most of the time, there are several different computer programs running at the same time. They all need access, your computer's uh, central processing unit or CPU, memory, and storage. So again, uh, right now I'm utilizing Zoom. I'm also utilizing um, Bluetooth to connect to my wireless headphones. I have um, the presentation itself up. I can do the operations to move it around and get to other spots on my iPad as well. So that, you know, again, the job of the operating system is to manage all of that at the same time to make sure each program gets what it needs. Uh, why is op updating your operating system important? So um, for any device, whether it's the computer or a phone or the iPad or, or a tablet, et cetera, there are gonna be some reminders about updating the system in one way, shape, or form. Um, they're always reminding you that your apps and things are out of date. It always seems like, you know, they come up at the worst time or when you're in the middle of something important. But even if that's the case, um, you should still follow them and keep your device up to date. Um, these updates have security patches that can cover security holes and keep the hackers out of the network. So not one, any one system is 100% foolproof, but these updates make it so that it's, you know, as close to as foolproof um, as possible. But in, in addition to these security updates, these, up, uh, these software updates can include new or improved features, as well as improved compatibility with different devices or applications, new applications, new features, uh, any, everything. So that's why it's, again, so important to update your operating system. These updates are not designed to ruin our lives. In fact, they're designed to make our computers and devices safer and keep hackers from exploiting different vulnerable spots. These updates, again, can fix the code that allows hackers to install malware in our computers or delete important files. Um, the things that you've been so busy working on that you think you don't have time to update your system, those uh, folks are at risk if you decide to ignore that reminder. So again, if you utilize a computer or your phones or other um, devices in your, uh, in your home, then I would make sure that those devices are updated uh, for those reasons that we talked about. Um, the update uh, is very simple. Uh, it does is takes a click of a button or two. And if you set it up, it shouldn't, well, I shouldn't say correctly, if you set it up in a way, uh, then sometimes you don't even have to tap on the button. It does it automatically for you. So I'll be showcasing that today. Um, installing an update uh, may take around 10 to 20 minutes altogether, but really towards the lower side, about 10 minutes. Um, when you upgrade your software to iPad OS 18, so um, updates every month or two months or so, and there's an upgrade every year. So when the upgrade occurs um, this coming fall, um, it may be a little longer. So when you include like five to 10 minutes for a setup, the iPad OS sorry, 17, and then it will eventually say 18 update should take about 20 to 45 minutes. But normally it takes about 10 to 20 minutes with the update, about 20 to 45 minutes with the upgrade. So the upgrade is once a year, the update is once every around once or two months or so. So really no time at all. <laughs> uh, you may see something called a rapid security response. Um, so you may see a letter next to um, the name of the update. So the latest one was an, uh, or the first one actually was an iPad OS 16. So last year, 0.4.1, and then it was A. So if you see a letter next to the numbers, then you know that's the rapid security response. These are a new type of software release for 
Apple devices. They deliver important security improvements between different soft, uh, software updates, like improvements to Safari, um, system libraries. And uh, it, when folks report to Apple, maybe uh, a security issue that they uh, encountered or experienced, those are also when those rapid security responses to um, uh, quickly, rapidly, as it says, to uh, catch that security hole in the system. But that, has, that hasn't actually happened for a while. So, but just, I want you all to be aware that you may see something called a rapid security response. So it started again in uh, the operating system 16.4 for iOS and iPad OS and on the um, desktop a little bit earlier. So um, yeah, let's keep that in mind. Uh, so when we talk about updating, right, we always got to have a backup <laughs> for anything in life, really, you know? So before you update, um, if you got to do an iCloud backup. It's the easiest, simplest way to uh, save a copy of your information when you back up your iPad and in case your device is ever needs to be replaced, if it's lost, if it's damaged, and also, again, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong with the, with the update. I've never had an update issue with me like losing data or apps or anything of that nature, but you know, it's always good to have a backup plan. So I'm going to show you all how to do an iCloud backup on your device. So uh, what does it include? So in, uh, the iCloud backup includes nearly all data and settings stored on your device. So again, when you, if you're ever in those situations where again, you have to replace or um, et cetera with, with your iPad, you know, you won't be losing everything. You'll actually be saving a lot. Um, no apps, right? You're not saving the apps, but you're saving the data from the apps, okay? That's what's being stored in the iCloud backup, not the actual app itself, but the data that's in that uh, app. Data that's already stored in iCloud, like contacts, calendars, notes, iCloud photos, iMessages, voice memos, uh, text or SMS messages, uh, health data, et cetera. Data stored in other cloud services like Gmail or Exchange, et cetera, your Apple Mail data, any Apple Pay information, uh, Touch ID settings, uh, Face ID for phones and iPad Pros, et cetera. So those biometric data. Um, so it, it has quite a bit. So that's why it's so important to uh, back up your iPad as well. Um, at least I say once a month. If you use your iPad five, six, seven days a week, maybe two times a month, you know, uh, just to make sure. Uh, again, with all the possibilities of what could go wrong, you know, again, I have not experienced any um, challenges with updating, but you never know, right? Uh, creating a backup should be the first thing on your to-do list when planning to upgrade your operating system. Backing up your data is very, very simple. So first out, what you're going to do is you are going to go to settings, okay? When you tap on settings, you are going to go to your um, name, okay? When you tap on your name, you are going to hit iCloud right here. Okay, you are going to hit iCloud and you will move on to the next step. The next step, when you, go, when you hit iCloud, you're going to hit iCloud Backup. When you hit iCloud Backup, you're going to see something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so I'm also going to put those instructions in the chat as well. I just want to quickly go over it. You all can follow along as well. You are going to go to settings. You're going to hit your name on the right. So you're going to hit iCloud. Then you're going to hit iCloud backup and you should get to the screen. So I'm going to do that on my iPad as well. I'm going to go to settings. On the left hand side, I'm going to hit my name. And I'm going to hit iCloud. And I will see iCloud backup. Just swipe up just a little bit, okay? But in here, in, in this uh, iCloud section, it says apps using iCloud. Make sure that with all the apps that you want to save the data for, make sure it says on. So again, everyone's is going to be a little different, right? But I recommend, you know, if you have a lot of photos, that you have it on. Um, if you have, um, you know, lots of data in the app, when you hit show all, again, make sure you look at all the apps 
that are using iCloud. So that way you can see what's saved to the backup. I'm gonna hit iCloud backup. And on the right hand side, you can see it says um, iCloud backup, automatically back up your iPad so you can restore your data if you lose your device or get a new one. So um, I recommend, again, if you all utilize Wi-Fi, of course, that you're connected to it on your iPad, if you have Wi-Fi at your home, because when you do have Wi-Fi in your home, it does do it automatically. It says my last backup was yesterday at 1138, but I did not do that. <laughs> That's because I was connected, of course, to my Wi-Fi and it, and it senses that. So it doesn't back up automatically um, for me, which I really enjoy. But if you, um, if you have not done a backup in a while, when you get to this screen, again, uh, settings, uh, your name, iCloud, iCloud backup, then you hit back up now. And right below that, you will see again is the last successful backup. So again, I want, you know, if you can follow along, if you have um, Wi-Fi, you can certainly do that. I hit back up now. You can back up at any time um, that you'd like. It's very quick, takes about a minute or two, and I have quite a bit of uh, data as well. As you can see, you can see all of your devices that are logged into your Apple ID. You can see the backups of that device. So my phone, um, I had that, that backup and I have uh, my iPad backup as well. So I can see those as well. Um, yeah, backing up, estimating time remaining. You'll see the bar, it goes through. And it really takes no time at all. I, I know it looks it, that it would take a long time, but look at that. Literally like a minute. <laughs> um, if you, did, if you did your backup today, or if you've recently done a backup, like, you know, within this month at least, uh, please share that in the chat as well. Um, love, would love to see that. But again, you see, there you go. Literally took a minute or two just to, just to uh, be done. So it was so fast. Again, it says last successful back, backup, 10.34 a.m. So again, I highly recommend that you back up your iPad at least once a month or check to see that it's been done, you know, um, check to see it's been done. But if you use your iPad pretty heavily, like five, six, seven days a week, then I would definitely do this about twice a month, once every two weeks. So um, <laughs> did you update or did you back up? <laughs> There's a, you know, it's, I, I use the words in interchangeably too sometimes as well, but we, yeah, but that's good, that's good, yeah. I know that's right, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there is a difference though. I know some folks um, can uh, get that confused sometimes and it makes sense because uh, they do sound real, very similar. But again, I highly recommend that you would do a backup before you update your iPad. So yeah, they're not the same thing, they're two different things. First you do the backup, then you do the uh, software update. So thank you, love it, backed up, good. Yesterday, yesterday, that's good, both. I know that's right. Thank you, Miss Rosemary, yep. Please share that in the chat. Make sure, again, you back up your device because, again, you never know what may happen. You know what I'm saying um, in life? <laughs> so uh, it's always good just to keep your stuff backed up. So that way, again, if you're in, ever in the situation where you need to, again, replace your iPad or it's ever lost or it's damaged, then uh, then I would definitely try to, um, you know, make sure that this step is done at least once a month. Um, if you're using data right now and may not allow you to back up your iPad right this instant because you are on Zoom, if you're using the cellular data right now, I may say that. So if you are not able to back up right now, definitely after the Zoom session ends, I would try to back up your iPad. But again, if you're connected to the Wi-Fi on your, your Wi-Fi on your iPad, it does it automatically. I cannot say how often, not maybe every day. I'm not 100% sure, but if you do have Wi-Fi, again, I highly recommend that you connect to it. Um, okay. Uh, I do see we have a hand. I'm not sure if that's a question, but I, you have, Ms. Walter, do you have a question or a comment for the Yes, background? I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I did my backup, it went well on iCloud, but I also have Gmail. So do I have to go in and back up Gmail or would it automatically back up um, with the other? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by Gmail. Do you, uh, you, you use the mail app for your email, right? 
Correct. Yep. So I use, no, I use um, Gmail as well as, uh, you know, W. Oh, okay. Th th thank you for, I, I now thought of a better answer. So again, okay. when you go into, when you go into, um, you know, the instructions, you go to settings, you tap your name, you hit iCloud. And before you hit iCloud backup, you see apps using iCloud. So make sure if when you hit show all to check out your information, you see my mail is on and I have, you know, uh, my other apps as well. So make sure you check that out here it, uh, to make sure that your um, whatever apps you want to back up, it says on on the right hand side. Okay, say that okay. one more time. You went so fast. I couldn't get good news. So again, just looking at the instructions in the chat, when you go to iCloud, before you hit backup, you notice above it, it says apps using iCloud. So when okay. you hit show all to show all of your apps that are using it, make mm -hmm. sure that you see all the options, either it's right. on or it's off. So you gotcha. can go here and check check that information out. Gotcha. Okay? Thank you so much. No promise. Well, to have a great rest of your day. Uh, okay. Um, Thank you, Gerilyn. Yeah, that's good, Mr. Leon. I uh, hope, um, yeah, that's good. As, again, as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi and your iPad, it should be done. The backup should be done automatically. So that's good. Um, you see, it's, there's no option for it. I mean, that's good. As long, it says backup this iPad. Just make sure that option is turned on. And that way, it will automatically do it, again, if you're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, Okay, I see we have two hands. After those two hands, we got to move on to uh, the next session. Uh, okay, I will get to your question in a second, Yvonne. Uh, Ms. Morgan, you had a question about the backup? Again, you have to hit unmute in the middle. Uh, okay, um, again, just in the interest of time, uh, Miss Maria, you had a question um, about the backup? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Mine says something about a data plan that I'll be charged. And I can't, okay. mine's not backing up right now. Okay, um, thank you for bringing that up as well. So it just, it uh, honestly depends on how much you have for your iCloud backup. For most folks, um, again, what's pro uh, what's provided initially, again, I was gonna talk about this a little bit towards the uh, um, end, but uh, everyone's provided five gigabytes of free iCloud storage. But after those five gigabytes, um, yet you, um, if you fill that up, you'll need to upgrade your iCloud plan to iCloud Plus um, to uh, to get more storage. So I would start off with the 50 gigs. And it sounds like you've done somewhat already of that or had it set up where, again, for that initial plan, it's about a, a dollar a month for that backup. So um, I would honestly just follow the steps that go, you know, that we went through today. And above here, it says manage account storage. So again, you go to settings, you tap your name, you hit iCloud. And then um, you, I, I would check out this section right here, um, Ms. Maria, for your account storage. If it says that you need more storage or if you need to verify some information, um, just follow the prompts that come up on the screen when you see that, OK? Well, I'll just see backup now. So you have to go, you have to hit the back button at the top to go back to the to this section. You see on, on my screen as well, if I hit the back button at the top left, it says iCloud and that back button. If you go back to this section, make sure you look at where it says account storage and you can see um, what it says there and what prompts that you may need to do. Okay, thank you. No problem, Ms. Marie, and please give our help desk a call if uh, um, if you needed some additional help, okay? All right, then. Thanks again. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Ms. Morgan, you had a question? Yes. Backing up? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I have a question. I, uh, I have been problems. I have been having no problems, but now here's what my backup says. Up update require your app version needs to be 
5.16.6 or higher to join this meeting, please update to continue. What does that mean? So, uh, Miss Morgan, so that's that's regarding the if you're on if that's talking about your iPad, um, mm -hmm. that means you have to uh, go through the process because again, Zoom was uh, downloaded by us before you received your iPad. If you're trying to oh. update your iPad app, I would oh. try to go in the App Store and see if you can physically update it. If you cannot, you have to delete the app and re-download it under your Apple ID. So we have to de delete. Oh, I would first, about, yes, oh, you, I would first try to update the okay. app from the app store. I would oh, first try to do oh. that this morning. See if yeah, you can, I, if you can, I, if you, you cannot. You're talking about Zoom, Z-O-O-M. I would have to. Yeah, yes, it. again, I, yes. In the app store, I would check to see if you can update okay. it in the app okay. store. And then uh -huh. if you cannot, if it says the app was purchased under another Apple ID, then just delete the app and re-download it in the app store. Okay. okay? Uh yeah, I'll go, oh yeah, go, go, go to the apps where, where it has all the other um different things on there on my iPad, yeah. yeah. Yes, but just, just right. like with, the, mm -hmm. but just oh. like with uh, Miss Maria, please call her help desk if you need some additional help, okay? Okay, because I saw some other Zooms on there and I did the workplace Zoom. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's the main one, Miss Morgan, everything <laughs> else, now that it's yeah. Zoom <laughs> workplace. So just okay. make sure you check that information okay. out. Yeah. Yeah, because the Zoom that I have, it just says um, uh, work, you know, and it's, it's a lot of other Zooms on there too. Yeah, 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 it should be the very first one that you see at the top right when you pull it up in the App Store. So check that okay. out, okay? I did, I got another, It's I got two Zooms, two different types of Zooms on here. So I'm using a new Zoom on here. That's how I was able to get into the meeting, and but I had to yeah. type in the meeting code. Yeah, so, yes. Uh, but, again, I would really try. I would really yeah. try to call our help desk, Miss Morgan. We, yeah, we really. Call it, yeah, I called the help desk. There, try, told me he was gonna call me back. But he yeah, call me yes. Back. So I, I would definitely try to wait for that call. Okay. All, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank How you, you so doing? much, Miss Morgan. I'm all good. Right. Thanks so much. Uh, Hope okay, you have bye. a good rest of your day. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you. Don't forget to meet yourselves, you all, just so that way we can hear. Thank you so much. Um, Yvonne, really quick, uh, I'm not sure of your question specifically. Um, again, everyone's is going to be different in regards to what apps that you're going to use for iCloud. Everyone is just going to be a little different. Um, but again, I recommend if you want to save the photos that are or any apps that you're using on your iPad in regards to iCloud, if you want to save the data for those particular apps in iCloud, Again, when you tap on your name and settings, you hit iCloud, you'll see, again, your apps that are using iCloud. You can show all of them and see which ones that you want to save, which ones you don't, um, et cetera. And you can look at your storage if you need to upgrade your storage. Um, I'll be talking more about that in just a second, um, but also your backups, et cetera. So this is where all of your iCloud information and that you can see. So thank you. Um, appreciate that, Ms. Leona, Ms. Gracie, we good, Louise, Miss Helen. And I mean, you could do that, Yvonne, um, you know, deleting some apps to free up more storage. You could do that. Um, I mean, if it comes down to it, but I just think it's much easier just to, again, utilize the, uh, um, that subscription, that iCloud Plus subscription. So, you, you know, because each upgrade or update is going to add more to that backup. So even if you delete a couple of apps, and some apps are not going to have that much storage to them anyway. So it's, um, I highly recommend you check out module one today, uh, as I will be talking about storage as well, but it's just a lot easier just to utilize that subscription to get some more storage and save your data to the cloud. Okay. Um, besides that, thank you. So we learned how to back up our device, but now we are going to go over how to update your device. But real quick before that, um, if you are in the, ever in the situation where um, you replace your device, et cetera, get a new one, get a replace, lost, et cetera, um, this is what you will see when you open up that iPad or for the first time. Um, it's when you, when you see this screen, it says restore from iPod backup, the very first option. When you tap on that option, 
uh, either, you know, this again applies to iPhone or iPad. You see it says restore from iCloud backup. So again, rather than starting with nothing, you can start with, of course, your uh, whatever you had in your iPod and your Apple ID. So it's so, so important, you know, your Apple ID information, you have that saved, you have that written down somewhere, et cetera, because without you signing in to again, access your backup there, you know, you won't be able to access it. So again, your Apple ID information, your Apple ID and your Apple ID password, make sure you know it. And uh, in case you're ever in this situation or if you ever need your password in general. So it's very important that you know it. Um, first up again with uh, updating your iPad. So of course, if you, um, especially because you're on this call right now, if uh, I would definitely connect to your Wi-Fi um, to go through this procedure. Um, when you update your iPad, you're gonna hit general and then you're gonna tap on software update, okay? When you tap on software update, there, there might be s several different things that come up just depending on uh, what version you're on the last time that you did an update, okay? Um, but all, I, all you have to do is go to general on the left in settings. Again, we're going back to settings and then you're gonna hit software update and you will see what it says. If it's up to date, it says up to date. The latest version is iPad OS 17.6.1. So that is the latest version. Um, so if it's up to date, you'll up to date. So if you are up to date, on your iPad software, please let us know in the chat as well. Um, if you've already updated your iPad, if I go, I took some, I did my update actually yesterday. Let me go to my photos. This is what I did. Okay. So again, I go to general um, on my iPad. This was yesterday. Um, I go to um, software update. And when you go to software update, this is what my screen looked like. So again, iPad was 17.6.1. With each update comes, uh, you know, a little description of what happened. So this update includes important bug fixes and addresses an issue that prevents enabling or disabling advanced data protection. That has something to do with iCloud Plus, um, but it was an update nonetheless. So um, make sure you all do update your iPad bug fixes, et cetera, security updates, new apps, new features, more customizations, more smooth processes, et cetera. So again, I hit update now. Um, if you do it now and actually go through, um, you'll see what happens. I, I had to enter in my iPad passcode myself. Again, if you have one set up, I had to enter in my passcode to my iPad. And then it says update requested. So um, now it's downloading, okay? So first it has to download, right? Has to download, it might take, five minutes or so. This one is really small. It's it's less than a gigabyte. It's only about 779 megabytes. Um, yeah, and sometimes it does it automatically. And you have that set up because at the top it says automatic update. So sometimes it doesn't, uh, does it automatically for you. It first will download. And then once it downloads, it will say, do you want to install it now or later? Make sure you, of course, you hit install now to install it. Um, then when you do your iPad, it will restart you will see the Apple logo and a little progress bar that comes up. Of course, I can take a screenshot of that. And then uh, once you see the Apple logo by itself, you know your iPad's about to turn back on. So um, again, the steps are to go to general, go to software update and check to see what it says here. Again, if it says update now, then uh, make sure, of course you hit update now. I would do that, of course, right after this call, right after this call, we're, about, we're almost done. Um, but definitely hit update now. So that way you can follow the steps. If you need to enter a new code, hit agree for your, et cetera. If you're on data right now, make sure you hit use cellular data to do so. Same thing with the iCloud uh, information or backup. Make sure you hit use cellular data if you see that option come up. Okay, but good, good, Ms. Maria, thank you. Yep, you didn't have to do it. Again, make sure automatic updates are turned on at the top. So if you're, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, and if your uh, iPad is plugged in, even if it's not plugged in sometimes, um, it will automatically download and even might install the update for you um, overnight typically. So it's very convenient to do so. Again, you wanna, again, have access to the latest security features, bug fixes, et cetera, and any other uh, additions or issues that are addressed. Make sure that you update your device. So thank you again. 
any other folks in the call, please share if you've updated your device, if you've back, uh, backed up your iPad. Those, again, are the main two things that uh, we cover today. Um, but again, with the latest uh, iPad update, you get many different things like new wallpapers, new apps, et cetera. And it's so, so important to be able to do so. Um, later on in the year, um, of course, when the newest upgrade comes out, instead of saying iPad OS 17, it will say upgrade to iPad OS 18. So of course we will have that session again. So, so important to update your iPads. But if you see this option, um, just know it'll take about 20 to 30 uh, minutes or so to download and, ins and install for that upgrade. Um, and I'm, excuse me, really look forward to the newest um, changes to the iPad. I really look forward to that. Um, when you, see, yeah, again, you may see this screen, it may say download and install. You may see that option come up as well. So again, it's just so important to look through the uh, prompts on the screen to be able to um, follow through with the upgrade or update. So yes, the upgrade, you may need to hit agree to the terms and conditions again. Any other prompts that come up, make sure you follow through with them, okay? So uh, thank you all so much. Um, we're gonna end talking again about um, iCloud Plus. Um, and about that storage, uh, you know, being able to store on the cloud. Of course, there is an option to um, store your device with another computer, but that takes, of course, uh, cables and some different apps. And it's just a lot, even myself, I do not use my computer to manage my iCloud storage. I utilize the iCloud uh, cloud storage, and this video talks about that a little bit more. So I hope that answers some of your all questions as well. If your iCloud storage is running low, there are a few things you can do to make room. We'll show you how to upgrade to iCloud Plus and share some tips on how to manage your storage. Let's see how to get more storage with iCloud Plus. In Settings, tap your name and then tap iCloud. Here, you can see how much space you're using. If you want to subscribe to iCloud Plus, Tap Manage Storage. Then tap Upgrade or Change Storage Plan, depending on your current iCloud usage. You can select the plan that's right for you and follow the prompts to upgrade. If you're new to iCloud Plus, you'll get new features like Private Relay, Hide My Email, and expanded HomeKit Secure Video Support. You can also manage your iCloud storage by deleting files and documents you no longer need. When you delete something in iCloud, it's deleted across all your synced devices. Before you start, be sure to make a copy using iCloud, listed by the amount of space they iCloud storage settings. You'll see your apps using iCloud, listed by the amount of space they take up. You can use this as a reference to help you decide what to remove like duplicate pictures and videos in the Photos app, iCloud Drive documents you no longer need in the Files app, and attachments from conversations if you've turned on messages in iCloud. Try this. In a messages conversation, tap the contact at the top and scroll down. You'll see photos, videos, documents, and other things you've shared or that have been shared with you in this conversation. You can tap See All to view and delete anything you no longer want to store in iCloud or keep on your devices. And that's a look at some ways you can manage your iCloud storage. Yeah, so again, um, iCloud Plus allows you to store more data, more information, more photos, etc., on your um, iPad or Apple device without, you know, having to delete certain things like photos or videos or apps. You sure can. You know, at one point, um, I uh, was uh, the one just to delete pictures and videos and apps. But, you know, for me, I utilize my phone a lot. So I want to earn my device a lot. So I wanted that extra storage just so that way I can focus more on what what uh, what I do on my iPad versus the, uh, you know, worrying about the storage and stuff. So, that, again, I highly recommend that you get access or look look at this and see what happens. Um, good thing is it's across all of your devices. So, you know, between my phone and my, uh, and my iPad, 
um, I have, um, you know, storage to use for both, which I really like because again, they're both on the same Apple ID, which I really like. So again, if I go to my name, I hit iCloud, sorry, let's see. Oops, let's see. Give me a moment, you all. If I go to settings, if I tap on my name, then I hit iCloud. It says manage account storage. So I utilize the 200 gigabyte plan um, here. Um, if you wanna manage your account storage, you see it says, uh, yeah, change storage plan. I see my iCloud Plus and I, and I can see the different options. So again, the 50 gigabyte plan, that's a dollar a month. The 200 gigabyte plan is about um, uh, $3 a month. And I don't imagine even myself reaching that limit anytime soon. Um, it's a lot, a lot of data. So I have many photos and stuff across my devices and messages and stuff. So, you know, when you use your devices for a few years, um, again, depending on how much you use it, um, you, you know, maybe looking at quite a bit of storage. So it's really important to look up this information. Of course, the iCloud backup also includes, um, you know, uh, storing um, iPad, the operating system storage, the actual operating system takes up quite a bit of data and information as well. Like if I go to general and then I hit iPad storage, well, this really in regards to the storage on the uh, iPad itself, but again, the operating system takes up quite a bit of iPad storage and some iCloud storage as well. So it's very important that you check out that information about the iCloud Plus and updating your iPad. So that way you can keep your iPad up to date. Any last questions or comments for today? Um, uh, if you've backed up your iPad and or, um, uh, and or updated your iPad either way, uh, please raise your hand. I do see Anne, you have a question, but for others, if you've backed up your iPad and or you've updated your iPad, please raise your hand and say, uh, Anne, you had a question or about anything that we, covered today? Yeah, I have a question. Good uh -huh. morning. Yeah, uh -huh. you, you said download before you upgrade or before you back up. So you got to have a backup before you do anything, right? So you do the backup first and then you update your iPad software. So you always do a backup first to back up your information. And that way, if anything goes wrong, which again, 99.9%, .9%, it will not, but mm -hmm. uh, no go wrong, but it's, it's always important to have a backup of anything that you do before you do it. So back up first, then the software update, okay? Okay, how do we get the uh, download? Maybe I have it wrong. You said download something before you do something? Download. So, so again, I, I was talking about downloading when it regards to the update. Again, just by following the steps, again, for the iCloud, you go to settings name, iCloud, iCloud backup, and then you follow through the backup. And then for the update, all you have to do is go into general, then hit software update, and you have to follow what it says on your screen. It may change, you know, it may be different for each person depending on the last time you updated. So again, just follow the prompts that you see on the screen here in software update. And when you're done, you'll know you're done because it will say iPad OS is up to date. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. No problem, and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. But again, uh, if you have updated your iPad, if you've backed up your iPad already, or if you're going to, um, please raise your hand in Zoom. Again, just ho hopefully the process is today, you know, again, just clarified some things, or again, it's just a good reminder to make sure your iPad is backed up and or updated. And I would check both of those at least once a month. The updates, it can be like once every two months, but sometimes, you know, like the 17.4, then five, that was a little soon, um, et cetera, you know, close to each other when the months so around one to two months or so, that is how long um, with each uh, update comes out. But every upgrade, so uh, we'll probably have 17.7, maybe um, in September, maybe we may have a 17.7, but this may be the last 17 update before the big upgrade um, in the fall, so around uh, September, October, maybe November. So you may have 17.7, but we also just may go straight to iPad OS 18. So make sure you keep this in mind.
Okay, okay, I see we have about 11 hands. Thank you, a mix of uh, newcomers as well. I appreciate that. Um, everyone else, again, uh, please make sure that you update your iPads just so that way, again, you can have access to the latest upgrades and updates and security features. Thank you, thank you. Um, make sure y'all check out um, our session at 1.30 with Zion for module one. And again, please take advantage of our help desk for any um, assistance um, with your iPad as well. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you all coming on to our session today. I will see you all tomorrow for our first session with Margaret. I really look forward to that. But again, I hope you all enjoy the module at 1.30. Thanks so much. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And thanks so much for coming on and your patience and understanding as always. Have a great rest of your Thank morning, you, you all. Alex. Have, Bye. A Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank, Thank, you. Day. Thank, Thank you, you, Alex, so much. Have a great day. See you. See you all tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.